Local news on WIFO. It's time now for the latest in local news in the news. Jefferson City Commissioners met Tuesday in the regular meeting, and the commissioners voted unanimously to keep their military rate the same as last year at 5.409. That under old business, as was the purchase of three sore odor control devices for the cost of $54,846. Under new business, the board voted 4-2 to not accept the purchase of a Kubota skid steer for the cost of $50,000. The vote 4-2 with Commissioners Ray House and Stanley Todd voting in favor of the purchase Nick Harris, Shirley and Armstrong, Don Dart, and Bill Harvey voting against. Under items with Commissioner Stanley Todd not pleased with the vote as he indicated the commissioners were polled about the purchase. And Todd says he was told that the purchase would be accepted. And he says to come to an official meeting and vote against just didn't seem right. It was stated the commissioners were not polled, but Todd says that was not his understanding. He said he just wanted to clarify his vote under items with commissioners. Ray House indicated the piece of equipment had already been purchased and bought by the city. He says now they'll have to simply find a way to send it back. Again, the vote 4-2 not to approve the purchase of a Kubota skid steer that can be used to clear roads, pick up leaves and limbs, piece of equipment used in a variety of ways. There was an executive session to discuss personnel, but afterwards the mayor announced there was no action taken. The city still looking to find their next police chief. Application process has been closed. I'm not certain if that was the topic discussed in executive session. It was just announced that it was involved personnel. Again, let's look at your city meeting from Tuesday. Reminder, the county commissioners meet this Thursday, as they did not meet on Monday, Labor Day holiday. On their agenda tomorrow, presentation and announcements, both Francis Jurgen and Tammy Thornton will be on hand to consider and improve hiring in their office for vacant positions. Again, the commissioners voted to have a hiring freeze, but both the clerk court and the probate court officials want to be on hand to try to find a vacancy in their office under citizen concerns, John Rogers in reference to the health department, Mike Hargrove talked about leadership Wayne project signs coming into Wayne County. Under new business, consider and approve donate land to forestry, consider and approve leasing of J.C. Landy to Tourism Board, consider and approve voting delegates for ACCG's Legislative Leadership Conference, consider and approve purchasing ordinance, consider and approve raising response fee for emergency medical services. Items with the county administrator. Items with the commissioners. There's also an executive session on their agenda, and all that takes place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We'll come back with some more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith Smith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith nice Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years. Feel better today. Sentencing takes place this morning at the Wayne County Courthouse. Judge Roger Lane set to hand down either life with the possibility of parole or life without, without parole after listening to victim impact statements from the family of the victim in the case, Richard Benjamin Trantham, who was gunned down at his residence, a trailer on Sawmill Road back on Easter weekend, March 26th. 
of 2016. Wayne County jury listened last week to the evidence, heard from witnesses, saw the autopsy photos, saw a video of the defendant, Robbie Rogers, at the Caveville store the night in question, getting into Andy O'Quinn's vehicle, then driving out to the Transom trailer. Then hours later, the video from outside the store shows Rogers coming through the woods into his vehicle and driving away. The jury also listened to a taped interview with the defendant, Robbie Rogers, the lead GBI agent, Richard Dial. Rogers tells the GBI agent that he was upset about the fact that he learned that Trantham had broken into his residence, stole $2,000 cash and some electronic equipment from him, so he wanted to confront Trantham, but instead hid with a rifle with a scope on it, shot at a porch light and missed, striking Trantham in the back, a fatal gunshot wound, the cause of death, according to the testimony of the GBI medical examiner, Dr. Downs. The Wayne County jury deliberated from 9 a.m., Friday morning to 2 p.m. Friday afternoon before finding Rogers guilty on three counts of the four-count indictment, key count felony murder, in which Rogers today will receive a life sentence. And the question is, does he receive a life with the possibility of parole or life with no possibility of parole? That decision of Judge Roger Lane, Superior Court Judge, will have that decision and story on Thursday's newscast. Then on Thursday in court, Judge Stephen Kelly was sentenced Jesse Irwin Strickland to life with either the chance of parole or not parole. He was found guilty of murder in the death of 70-year-old Arthur G. Westbury. Strickland beat him to death with a blood object. Sensing for Strickland set for Thursday afternoon in Judge Kelly's court where had the outcome of that case on Friday's newscast. In Brunswick, a man faces murder charges after police officers found a decomposing body Sunday in a mobile home. Officers responding to a request to conduct a, wel a welfare check went to a single wide mobile home at 125 Simon Drive in Brunswick about 2.15. Neighbors told officers they had not seen the occupant several days, and the officers recognized an odor as that of the decomposing body. Officers entered the mobile home and found a deceased man whose, identify, whose identity will not be released until next of kin are notified. Harrison Charles Lewis, age 22, also in Brunswick, has been charged with murder in the death. An autopsy will be conducted on the body at the GBI crime lab in Savannah. It's the second homicide this year on that road off US 341, just north of Brunswick city limit. 30 year old man was shot and killed in April outside a mobile home at 137 Simon Drive. 30 year old Daniel Lee Gilman was found about 8.30 p.m. lying outside the mobile home with a gunshot wound to the chest. Gilman was taken to Southeast Georgia Health Systems Brunswick Hospital where he's pronounced dead. Again, second murder on that same road in less than a month in Brunswick. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Chad Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup. At Neesmith, we had the biggest inventory of new and used vehicles around. We also had the best prices guaranteed. We know everyone wants the best vehicle at the best price. At Neesmith, we'll give you just that. We sell all makes and models from Lexuses, Nissans, BMWs, and of course all GM and domestic cars too. Best of all, if we don't have the vehicle on the lot you want, we can get it for you in just a day or two, tops. All we ask at Neesmith is before you buy to give us a chance to save you some money. We will have the best prices and give you the most for your trade guaranteed. So don't pay too much. Come and see us today and let us show you how we can get you into the vehicle you want at the lowest price guaranteed. Only at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC of Jessup on Highway 341 towards Brunswick. Or visit us online at NeesmithNow.com. That's NeesmithNow.com or at 912-427-2045. There ain't nothing wrong with the right price. Do you have a toothache or an issue that you need looked at, or you're just looking for a new dental home? Come to Midway Family Dental, where we're more than happy to fix that smile or maintain those pearly whites just for you. We focus on dentures, Invisalign, teeth whitening, extractions, root canals, and most importantly, your checkups. So please come by Midway Family Dental, where our patients are like family. Call 912-880-2288 or stop by 1718 North Coastal Highway in Midway. We look forward to hearing from you. Stop creditor harassment today. Stop the worry of a pending repossession, garnishment, or foreclosure. Contact the Bankruptcy Group, Attorney R. Flake Cabinets, for an experienced assessment of your financial situation. They have locations in Brunswick, Hazelhurst, and now Jessup. They are a debt relief agency. They help people file for bankruptcy relief. Contact legal assistant Tanya Blanton at 912-375-5620. 375-5620 to set up your free consultation. Let the Bankruptcy Group do the worrying for you now serving Jessup. 
Final notes in the news, Chamber of Commerce might get run to their quarterly membership lunch in Sefford, September 19th from 1130 to 1 at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets for that event, $25. They ask you to register by September 15th. Topic will be the state of the SPLOS. City Commissioner Stanley Todd mentioned last night at the city meeting and asked that the city just be represented at the meeting. If you need more info, call the Chamber at 427-2028. Also this Thursday, DDA hosting a second downtown merchants banquet. Coastal Pines College, 6.30 p.m. Folks at the gathering this year will be the development of a downtown master plan. DDA Director Mike Weather says the theme is writing downtown's future. She states that all downtown businesses have been given two reserve seats for the banquet. Additional tickets can be purchased for $10 each. If you need more info, call City Hall at 427-1313. Any emergency management agency here in Wayne County keeping us up to date with Hurricane Irma. And it's still too early to tell where the exact path of this storm is headed. But again, they ask that you stay tuned, and again, the Wayne County Emergency Management having a meeting early this morning and having another one this afternoon. Donnie Ray, Emergency Management Agency Director, will keep us posted on this path of this storm. Also, due to the possibility of severe weather in our area on Monday, September 11th, Forever Young Bingo at Unity Church of God has been rescheduled for Monday, October the 2nd. That's from Pastor Calvin Anderson. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes away in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO.